A smart charging on IOTA is a match because you can have a machine-to-machine -machine economy where the car is being paid, the charger is being paid without human interaction. And those devices can forecast their energy need, you get much more smarter networks than what we call a smart grid right now. You see that the number of charging stations is increasing kind of linear. And the same thing is now happening with electric vehicles. We need to deliver much more energy using our grip. We don't always buy the energy, we even produce the energy ourselves. The whole way we use the grid is really changing. So we need to come up with things like smart charging to only charge when there's an abundance of energy. Let's say in your neighborhood, when you become an island where everybody could be self-sustainable. And if you connect multiple of these islands together, you get a very resilient network. If you have multiple decentralized islands that are self-balancing the grid autonomously, you have to administer a lot. But if you do that decentralized and autonomous and no human interaction and things are secure by default, uh, that, that really helps and that's what we build. We created four uh, virtual charging stations and one virtual transformer. But it could also work with your washing machine, your heat pumps, your other household appliances. There's actually a machine-to-machine -machine economy where devices are directly paying each other. We use a DLT, in this case IOTA, to administer and to make payments in an autonomous way. You can uh, make optimal use of the properties of a DLT, so it's, it's very scalable. Uh, you can do microtransactions, for example, you can do very uh, small amounts of power charging uh, to the car uh, and pay for that like every 10 seconds or for every watt hour that's being charged. And incorporating smart charging is easy because you can have uh, data transactions besides your value. So it's not simply paying. IOTA, for example, is also fee-less. So you can make lots of payments, uh, small payments, over a larger period of time or in a very short period. What we have seen today are basically a blueprint and a working proof of concept of a machine to machine ecosystem. So if Gartner talks about the future of blockchain, they are talking about a machine economy, a programmable machine economy. As Gartner wrote about it, it was a vision. Today, we saw a live demonstration. This is why it's uh, important to ELAT and it is important to a Nexus Netbeheer because we are part of the critical infrastructure. That means we want to know disruption before it happens. We want to understand how technology will change the world. And if machines start interacting with machines, if the cars and the charging poles start balancing the grid themselves, we see completely new narratives arising. Electric charging is a hot topic uh, with, uh, with IOTA. Uh, we've seen it before on meetups and we've seen it uh, again today with uh, ELAT's uh, demo as well. We think electric vehicles are the future. There's no, no real good alternative for it. Uh, everyone will need a, a charging uh, station and it's a great concept to work with for IOTA because uh, it involves payments, it involves machines that talk to each other. We're looking forward to seeing more proof of concepts like this.